We have gotten so much rain over the last few oh weeks. Gosh, it felt yeah. like every afternoon we had a storm. It's been so mm -hmm. nice and it's created a unique opportunity in Colorado. Yeah, we are we're due for a mushroom boom. Nice. You've seen some on a hike. Uh, I've got them popping like up in my backyard. And they're, and they're really. so diverse. Yeah, they're there's so a lot different. of unique colors. Yeah. 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 So that's just one you to see on pizza. There's like really uh, yeah. cool ones. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't put these ones on pizza. No, probably not a good idea, but I did speak with a scientist who runs a nonprofit who leads uh, missions out into cool. the wild to find them. Not to eat. Okay. Just to enjoy, <laughs> to admire, maybe take a picture, not to consume. But uh, yes, I spoke with the president-elect of the Colorado Mycological Society. Mm. Their whole thing is fungi and mushrooms, because that's what mycology studies. And he says that this season's profuse Crazy. amount of rain has produced quite a fertile mushroom season. Aren't they cool looking? They're so they colorful, are. yeah. aren't yeah. they? But don't eat them, no matter how cool <laughs> they look. That runs through September, that mushroom season. So if you want to enjoy uh, that the right way, this nonprofit, which has actually been around for over 50 years, runs weekly forays out into the wild oh to goodness. find the over 7,000 species wow. of mushrooms that live in our state. Yeah, you should go see them. And while some of you might be saying, if they don't go on my pizza, what is the point? <laughs> well, this scientist wants to remind everyone how vital mushrooms are to our existence and our comfort. They're doing, accomplishing a couple of things. One, they're the primary decomposers. So all the organic material that plants produce through their photosynthesis builds up. And without the fungi to decompose them, they would continue to build up forever. And then their nutrients would run out and we'd be up to uh, our rear ends in poop, basically. So <laughs> plant poop? Is he saying plants poop That's pretty much? Kind of, yeah. Like, yeah. They're yeah. waste but, material. or. Yeah. But mushrooms get rid of it for us. <laughs> nice. If it wasn't for mushrooms, we would be up to our rear ends, he said, in plant wow. feces. He solved another mystery for me. Yeah. Fun, fungi. <laughs> Fungi. Not, not fungi. Yeah, he, well, so I, I okay. did ask yeah, him about that. I was like, like GIF or JIF, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said it's either one is fine. And he's okay. an expert. This is what he studies every single day. All right. I'm, so I'm going to keep saying fun. fun guy because it's just fun. You're the fun guy. Thank yeah. you. It's fun more guy. fun fun. You're fun. Yes. Yeah. And we'll have information on their website <laughs> if you'd like to foray. Maybe, Lisa, you want to go mushroom hunting? I'd love to. Yeah, and yeah. fun guy goes better with one of my, I only have two jokes, Danny. <laughs> yeah. What do you call a happy mushroom? A, a, a fun, fun guy. guy. Oh, yeah. If you say fun, it doesn't work the other way. It doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs>